Hipkins Labour Party. Shocking, dishonest government behaviour. Shocking behaviour. The video clip says it all. Case closed. Guess who was the COVID-19 coordinator? Guess who was the Minister of Police? Clue. He's now Prime Minister. Chris Hipkins, resign please. Just go. October 8th, 2021, Northland locked down via a trio of travelling women. A positive Delta case leaked out of Auckland by supposedly using a forged travel exemption. A person obtained a document by providing false information. But that statement from Chris Hipkins was in fact false. Internal emails show on October 1st a travel exemption to go to Northland is granted under the social services category. On October 4 at 9pm, police ask government officials whether an exemption was granted. At 1.26pm the next day, a Ministry of Social Development staffer confirmed it should have been declined and so will be revoked. Sorry, my mistake, they tell their colleagues. But the damage was done, a positive case got out, Northland was locked down. The invisible, arrogant Wellington bureaucrats that are frustrating the heck out of all of us up here. The Prime Minister's steering well clear of this one. It wasn't just Northland that suffered, the women were pilloried by the public. Ministers were told about the multi-million dollar blunder on October 13. Surely to goodness they could have come out and made a significant statement instead of saying, oh, it looks like there's been an error. They weren't prepared to say uh, it's not these women's fault, it's the government's fault because it would have called into question their lockdown of Northland. The women blamed had no links to gangs and weren't sex workers. The papers show a quote in an email from MB which says the documents were issued in error by the Ministry of Social Development. Northland Chamber of Commerce President Tim Robinson says his members would be more forgiving if the mistake was owned up to. It's simply a case of an administrative error. I guess what businesses will be very, very, very disappointed about is why wasn't there, I guess, a little bit of honesty about the fact that a mistake was made and that they were simply admitted by error. Revelations police falsely reported cars as stolen to gain access to powerful surveillance systems. Official Information Act documents show detectives used the trick to track the movements of the women who travelled to Northland during the Delta outbreak, triggering a lockdown. Police logged their cars as stolen, which opened access to number plate recognition systems operated by private companies with a network of CCTV cameras. Once police had the information they sought, they registered the cars as not stolen. Hipkins Labour Party. Shocking, dishonest government behaviour. Shocking behaviour. The video clip says it all. Case closed. Guess who was the COVID-19 coordinator? Guess who was the Minister of Police? Clue. He's now Prime Minister. Chris Hipkins, resign please. Just go.